Hey guys, welcome back to the game room. So this time around, as you can see, I've got the Namco JogCon and I've also got this uh, SD card here. Now, um, the reason I'm doing both of these two together is because if I did just a video regarding the SD card, <laughs> it'd be about 50 seconds long and that would kind of be that really, it would be a sort of a pointless video to do on its own. So doing these two together, um, if you want to see my basically my review of the JogCon only and that's all you're interested in, then uh, go ahead and click to the time code that I'm going to put on the video there. Jump forward to that time and you'll see basically the JogCon review. So, uh, about the SD card, basically a awesome YouTuber who goes by the name of Gruss Newton has sent that to me. There's a reason why he sent it. I'm not going to go into full specifics because I'm pretty sure Gruss is going to want to make his own video, pickups video, regarding you know, said device that that is for. Basically, he wanted me to make a copy of one of my SD cards that's set up for said device so that he could have um, just basically a plug and play setup. He doesn't have to mess around with it using, you know, his PC and what have you. Um, basically, plug and play, off he goes. He's got it all sorted. So he uh, got this sent to me directly from the place that he bought it from. Um, I've got his address. Thank you very much, Grass. That came through on the PM. So I'll send this, uh, this back up to you. Hopefully, you'll get it next week. And I'll put a nice little note in there as well. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's why this is sitting here. This will be on its way back to grass. And, uh, yeah, hope this does what you need it to, mate. I tested it using said device as well, and it worked fine. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this gets to you and uh, have fun, mate. That's all I can say to that. Right then. You may remember a few months ago I documented that I picked up the Namco JogCon, a, uh, another controller produced by Namco for the Sony PlayStation. So here it is here, and I said I'd do a review on it. Um, what I was planning to do originally was a bit like my Namco uh, Najicon review, where I was playing a game. Um, that was an idea that Russ Newton gave me. So awesome, Russ, thanks for that, mate. It was a really awesome video that I did there. Really enjoyed doing it and showing you me using the Najicon with uh, Ridge Racer Revolution as it was then. So here's the Namco JogCon. Now, as I mentioned, if you uh, if you check back quite a few videos ago, the JogCon came from Australia. It's in really, really good condition. The box is complete. It's got everything in there. Controller's in decent condition as well. Really like it. And, uh, yeah, I said then I was going to do, like, a, a review probably similar to the Najicon. It's going to become clear, hopefully, in this video why I've just decided to put it out in front of the camera and just really give you a review that way. I mean... If someone requests it, I may well do a gameplay video with me playing this and Ridge Racer Type 4. So, okay, so let's start the review of the JogCon device then. First off, my first impressions were that it's the build quality, yeah, it's not really the best, I've got to be honest with you. It's not, it doesn't feel all that strong, it doesn't feel all that nice, it feels a bit thin, especially with the handles, and it's really creaky. You know, it feels like all the, the money that's been put into making this controller has been put into the the motorized jog wheel here. Uh, the reason I bought this is because it looks interesting and I thought this would be a cool way to play some racing games on the uh, PlayStation. Something that I recommend if you are going to pick up, you know, retro controllers, retro games, is to do your research and do your homework first. I mean, with this, it's not really compatible with too many games and I didn't really do my research beforehand. So, you know, if I'd have done that, I'd have realized that it's compat compatible with like a very small list of games, only a few, I think. It's not lots. I think Ridge Racer Type 4 and Ridge Racer 5 on the PS2 are about the only two games really that this works with. Yes, it works with the Ridge Racer high spec demo, but as that's a demo, I don't class that as being a game because it's a demo. Um, yeah, so the controller, um, yeah, as I said, the build quality, not the absolute best. Um, so yeah, about it then. So I fired up Ridge Racer Type 4 because that's the game that this thing is really made for. I went into the uh, the option screen for the controls because I read that you need to go in and calibrate it. So I got this set as it said I should. So I got the jog wheel into the position. Um, what's nice about it is you can set play in the wheel if you like in the jog wheel. So you know if you want there to be a little bit of play before the steering actually kicks in, you can you can add that. You can also set the degrees of rotation, which again I thought was really good because you know you want to set how sensitive the steering actually is when you're playing the game which is nice, um, and yeah, so you can do those things and calibrate it. But what was strange is obviously I used the uh, the piece here, this little uh, bevel if you like, to, um, to determine the position of the wheel compared to how it was on the calibration screen. And it seemed to go a bit off. 
strangely as I was doing the calibration it wouldn't it wouldn't ever stay exactly as it was so that was a bit strange but I thought okay so I've got it set to what I think is going to be fine and I started to play Ridge Racer Type 4 with it um, and again had I read information about this controller read reviews about the controller because as I said in my previous video about it it didn't get the best of reviews the best of write-ups and so I found out why and what the controller's biggest flaw was so yeah that jog con sorry the jog wheel in the center of the jog con here is motorized and it's it's got force feedback so it's uh yeah it gives you a bit of resistance and uh, a bit of slip as well if you if there's a lack of traction I believe and uh well the problem is as I was going along playing Ridge Racer Type 4 I found it awkward to steer for one thing I wasn't really sure of myself when it came to steering and then it started locking into position and I was struggling to steer with it it was becoming a nightmare to try and steer and change direction and and that kind of defeats the object really you need this to be you know movable yes you want a bit of feedback of course you do because that's the whole point of it but not to the point where you can't steer and then you end up crashing and it becomes really frustrating so I actually put it away then in the box for ages and didn't touch it and got it back out again to try the Ridge Racer high spec demo because I saw someone using this uh, on a video showing the Ridge Racer high spec demo. Same problem. I went through the configuration menu, got it calibrated, got it set up, started to play. And even though I adjusted the sensitivity, the car was snapping around all over the place to begin with. And then suddenly it started locking again. And I was really, really struggling to get it to steer into corners. It was just, it was just a nightmare. So I can see why this didn't do very well, didn't sell very well. I was asked the question actually, uh, in the UK, was this controller sold on its own or was it only available with the Ridge Racer Type 4 bundle that it came in? Now, my answer to that question is I think it was only available in the Ridge Racer Type 4 bundle here in the UK. I don't think it was sold separately, as was the case in Japan with the uh, retail box copy, box version of it that I've got here. So I could be wrong, and if anybody finds that there is actually a, a version of this for Europe and the UK on its own without Ridge Racer Type 4, then I'd be interested to see that. But yeah, I've got to say, really, to sum this up, this controller is really, really disappointing. I really thought it was going to be an awesome controller to use, you know, for those racing games. Disappointing compatibility list. There's hardly any games that can use this thing. And the games that do, unfortunately, the flaw just comes straight to the surface instantly because you start playing the game and yeah the controller sort of locks and it and it it's not good it really isn't good guys so this is really for collection purposes only it's quite a rare controller as well it's not going to be a common one that you're going to come across too often either because it didn't sell in particularly high numbers it's part of the reason why i bought it as well because it's kind of an obscurity and you know not very common as well but yeah so my review of the namco jogcon guys is just avoid do not buy this controller at all just don't be tempted don't do it it's absolutely woeful useless thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you again soon